Hey, it's me, Dave from the Kodo, back with another tutorial. Today we're going to start working on uh, Ars Magic Magica 2. Uh, just an introductory into that and uh, what to do to get started. So the first thing you'll notice is there is this little pond. These occur naturally in the world. They're always two by two and they always have this 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 liquid in them, this bright blue liquid. So this is where you're going to want to start. You're going to want to find one of these. And you're going to want three things. <clears throat> a book, an item frame, and some sort of block. Because what you're going to do is along the edge somewhere, you're going to place that block. You're going to take the item frame, you're going to put it on that block, and then you're going to put the book in that item frame. And then you'll notice that uh, things start to change. Uh, the book is drawing in magical energies from the area surrounding this little pool. And after a quick transformation, you'll see that it changes. Punch it out of the item frame. And we get rid of that item frame. <coughs> and you'll notice I have a little message that says, You have unlocked the secrets of the arcane. And if we go to uh, the book, it is the arcane compend compendium. Uh, you'll see I got two new bars and a level. There's like a little level one there. If you open up this book, it is a guide to everything that is Ars Magica. Uh, everything that you will need and everything that you might need to learn about to, to further your skills in the magical realm. Uh, the next thing that we're going to work on, the next thing you're going to want to work on is in the block section, the Oculus. And what this is is a, a gateway to the stars. The Oculus shows you the most inner, your you your most innermost self. It is where you can spend your new skill points to unlock new shapes, components, and modifiers. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to uh, make spells to level up your skills and to use in the world around you. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that there is new ore generation. There is this topaz. Uh, it can be broken with just a normal pick. You don't need anything special. Uh, iron being one of the more abundant resources. And you'll see that you get this little blue topaz rock. So to make the oculus, if we look back here, you'll see that it is stone bricks. I think these can be mossy as well. Uh, glass, some coal, one piece of topaz, and coal, and coal on the other side. So in here, you'll see that. What we'll do is we'll grab all these. Grab a crafting table. Nothing special to make this. Just the items that are required. In a crafting grid. Like so. And you get the Oculus. Now, this is going to be the thing that you put in your magic room or wherever you're storing all of your magical your magical goods. Once you place it down, you can see it's a interesting little thing. You, I assume you look through there and like a telescope, I don't know. Uh, but if you right click on it, you get this. Now this looks like the achievement or like the Thumbcraft uh, book. And you can see there's levels up here. There's three blue, zero green, and zero rep. You have offensive, defensive, utility, and towns in general. These all have their own page. Now I have three blue that I can spend. Uh, as you work your way through this, picking which spells you want to work on, these will go away, and the further down in the chain that you go, it will cost more and more of these these skills, which you'll gain through making skills and using skills in the world. <clears throat> so we start off with three blue. Um, I'm going to make a projectile that does you can either do gravity or bounce. I'm going to do physical damage, and then fire damage. So now you can see that this is the path I've chosen. I won't be able to do anything else until I get more levels. Oops, there we go. So the next thing that we want to make is the the actual table that we're going to use. Uh, you're going to need spell parchment, which is going to go right in here, which is made by using a stick and paper. Very simple things. Uh, oak planks, some slabs, a torch, and feather. So let's get this table going here. You can see that's the, the table, part of the table for Thomcraft torch, and a feather. And you got your inscription table. Now this is two blocks, kind of like a bed. So you set it down. Neat little interesting thing here. If you right click on it, now you can see uh, that I have my projectile with physical damage and fire. 
Here I will need a book and quill. You put a book and quill right there. You can search this once it starts to fill up. Uh, and we'll name this Fireball. And what you need to do is you need to drag one of these down here. And you'll see that it has instructions right here that are kind of taken up by any eye. Uh, but you need a component, which is physical damage. Uh, and then uh, we wanted to do fire damage as well. So these are the components. This is what it'll actually is. a projectile that does physical damage and fire damage. We're going to do both. Now what you do is then you grab the book out of there. And it uses the book and quill, but now you have this fireball. If you open this book up, it is a combination projectile, physical damage, and fire damage. The materials are needed is an iron sword, red rune, which we'll get into, the vintium dust, which I will show you as well, arrow, flint and steel, snowball, that kind of thing. And the affinity bro breakdown is that it does 50% fire damage, 50% earth damage. So now, this doesn't do anything on its own. You need another... Uh, structure. You need the crafting altar. Under structures, crafting altar in our uh, in our arcane book, you can see that this is what it looks like. You need to create this. Uh, you can use a variety of materials. Uh, with this, the more expensive the materials you use, the especially right here, the, these guys right here, the more expensive the items that you use, the more complex of a spell you can make. And then there's the magic wall right here. There's also the lectern, which I'll show you how to make. And then the this guy, crafting altar. I'll show you those. And as you can see, I have a little, little one set up over here already. Uh, I just use standard cobblestone, stone stairs, and blocks of redstone. I have the lever there. So this is what it looks like. Let me just make sure it stays daytime. All you're doing is one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, and then a little woo thing with your stairs. Crafting altar is going to go there, and the blocks that you've chosen to use for those four posts are going to help with the complexity that you're making of your spells. So this is going to be something that you're going to want to set up in your magic room with uh, the table and the uh, the Oculus. Uh, depending on what you use here, quartz or whatever, it'll be. You can make it look however you want. So, what we need to do now is we need to make the crafting. Oops, let me go back into here. We need to make the crafting altar, as well as the magic walls. Now, when we look at the recipe for the crafting altar. You'll notice it's pretty simple. Just a stone block and this Vintium Dust. The Vintium Dust is another ore that shows up naturally. Looks like that. But when you break it, it comes to you as just the ore. How you get the dust is by cooking it. Smelt it and you get Vintium Dust. So let's grab this stone. Put the stone down with the dust. Get our crafting altar. Put that guy there, and we need to make the lectern. Oops, let me show you the recipe for that. Just a piece of wood with uh, uh, slabs on top, and that is this part right here. So it's going to be on the opposite wall of that. Put that guy down, and now we need to make six magic walls. Magic walls are made by Vintium dust on either side of stone, and you actually get 16 of them, so that's that's cool. So let me just grab stone real quick. Run over here to our crafting table. Vintium dust, 16 magic walls. And these are going to go right here. Neat little see-through devices. You can see that this is the finished structure. Nothing really special happens. It just kind of does its thing. So, there's no interface. There's nothing here except for the lectern. What you're going to do with the lectern is you're going to take your spell that you've made, your spell book, and you're going to right-click. You're going to set it there. 
And now what you're going to need to do is you need to compile this list of materials. OK, so uh, let me grab these and I will be right back. All right, so I have all of my materials that I need. And you'll notice that I have uh, an extra one, this blank rune. The recipe for this is just cobblestone, and you actually get two of them. That is what is going to be the catalyst for getting this started. So you're going to drop the blank rune right there, and you'll notice that now this changes. And this is telling you what is needed next. So we need Vintium Dust, followed by an arrow. And you're just throwing it in the middle here, followed by the snowball. Followed by red runes. Now the red rune is just making a blank rune, which I showed you was this. And then any type of dye or the red stain sampling, those things will change it to the red rune. So now we have this. Q throw it in with Q. We have our sword. Another red rune. Our flint and steel. And finally our last Vintium dust. And you'll see that this changes now to uh, a piece of parchment. So we're going to throw that, that last piece of parchment in there. Hear a little bit of music. And you get this little guy here on the ground. So now I have a uh, projectile spell. Uh, this, you can see a little bit of uh, fire on my finger. On my hand, rather. And if you right-click, you get the option to name it whatever you want. And give it a uh, an icon. We'll call it we'll call it fireball, and give it that. We'll escape out of there. Now, when I right click, I fire a fireball, and you can see that my mana is used up. Uh, that's the blue marker on the side. So we gotta wait for that to level to fill back up. And you can see when I try and use it, it turns purple and it yells at me, saying that it's not it's not available. So while that is filling up, we'll look at Spellbook. The Spellbook recipe, very simple, leather, string, paper, and that layout basically allows you to take your spells and put them in here. It'll also hold spells over here, but these are all, these this is your hot bar for your spells. So where the spell book sits is where the spell is going to be. And then you can see up in the top left, that is where my spell is. So then if I shift roll, it would change spells if I had more than one. But I only have one right now. So now that I have this selected, i got to wait for my mana to fill back up. So you can see now that I was able to use it, I leveled up a little bit. Uh, using spells is how you level up. So you can see that now I have a level 3. So that means I can uh, do a little bit more work with earning spells and, and using them and making new ones. Uh, so these are the basics of getting going with uh, Ars Magica 2. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more in depth in an upcoming episode. Oops, he's still firing. Let's see if we can get another level here. Uh, if this was helpful, give me a like. Uh, check out my other videos for more tutorials. <clears throat> Missed him. Ugh, out of mana. So, check out my other videos as we go further into depth with Ars Magica 2. And l give me a like. It helps other people with uh, finding my videos in the future. Uh, like always, I am Dave from Dakota. Good luck and have fun.